What's up guys? I'm Dr. Lindsay and today we're going to talk about owning a standard poodle. So a standard poodle is a large breed dog. These dogs can get from 60 to 80 pounds. That is huge and a lot bigger than most of you guys probably expected. <laughs> Alright guys, so in this video, you're going to see four different poodles. So make sure to watch this video to the end so you see what they all look like. But right now, I'm going to introduce you to Sophie, who is a cream-colored standard poodle puppy. And she's my personal puppy that I just got one month ago. So Sophie is about three and a half months, and she's almost 20 pounds. This puppy is huge! I've never owned a standard poodle, but she is considered a large breed dog, so I shouldn't expect her to be small. She is very big boned, her legs are super strong, and she's just so elegant and has such a good disposition and is so well behaved. All right guys, so you landed on this video today because you're interested in getting a standard poodle for yourself. Maybe you have allergies or you need a hypoallergenic dog and you're worried that a poodle is a floofy dog breed, maybe pretentious and not for you. But that is not true at all. A standard poodle is a very masculine dog. They are very strong and they're used for hunting. How masculine is that? They are gun dogs, they're used for swimming and duck hunting and I think they're even used for hunting bears somewhere in France. How cool is that? So the Standard Poodle is an amazing dog breed and I highly recommend you getting this dog. All right, so here with me now is Madison and Cooper and these are both adult Standard Poodles. As you can see, Madison is a female poodle and she's about 60 pounds and she is just so beautiful. And then over here yeah. we have Cooper and he's a male standard poodle and he's about 75 to 80 pounds. They are such elegant dogs, they are so well behaved and they're just sitting with me right now to make this video. So standard poodles are the second most intelligent dog breed behind the Border Collie. They are also voted the seventh most popular dog breed in the United States. So these dogs are a part of the working dog breeds. And if you've had a working dog breed before, you know that their talents go beyond fetching a newspaper. The poodles are known for being in circuses, they're known for obedience, they are used as assistance dogs, they are duck hunting and gun dogs, and they are also used for agility. These dogs have always been best in show since the 19th century. So poodle grooming is not difficult. You need to have a good relationship with a groomer and have your poodle groomed every three to four weeks. They'll give them a bath and give them a hair clipping of your choice, since as you know, there are many poodle haircuts. Cooper has the standard pet haircut where he is just level all around his body. Obviously, you could do that circus or that show dog look where they really cut close to the butt and give them the pom-pom. But if you don't want to do that and you want to just have a pet poodle, you can have them get a haircut just like Cooper. A big reason for the poodle popularity is because they are the most hypoallergenic dog breed. They have a single layered hair coat that does not shed. So what is the energy level and temperament of a poodle? So the poodle is a working dog breed, so they will have high energy. They will simply enjoy going on a brisk walk about two to three times a day. And as for their temperament, these dogs are very intelligent, quiet, and should have a docile temperament. They are not aggressive dog breeds, and breeding an aggressive poodle is a serious fault. They aren't very protective, but if there is someone that is in danger nearby, they will protect the family and the kids. Overall, poodles are very sweet dogs and easy to train, and they make perfect family pets. Meet Zoe. Zoe is a super cute black standard poodle and she has a really nice shaggy haircut going on here. So I'm going to talk about two health issues that standard poodles can have. The first one is ear infections and when you take them to the groomer, your groomer will clean out their ears to help prevent them from getting these ear infections. The second thing is poodles can have neurological issues and the main one is developing epilepsy or having seizures. So make sure to talk to your poodle breeder to see if they have any history of seizures in their bloodlines. 
All right, guys, thank you for watching this video on owning a standard poodle. I hope you guys learned something from this video and enjoyed watching all the cute and beautiful poodles that we filmed today. If you guys like this video, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell to get notifications for when I post more videos.